Hi, I'm Mark Lincoln with Jamplay.com. Talking to you today about voice and performance. This is lesson 15 in the uh, performance series, voice and guitar. And well, we've covered a lot of ground, haven't we? But so much more to cover. And just as a quick note of reference, you know, of course, I always include my review section at the beginning of every one of these lessons, especially in the hard copy, you'll notice. And um, especially more important at this point on in the performance series, that you warm up your vocal cords properly, okay? We're going to start doing more and more singing during the performance lessons. And it is incredibly important <clears throat> that you are warmed up before we start in order to protect your vocal cords, <clears throat> okay? Make sure that you're not causing any harm to your vocal cords. This is so important, you guys, because we here at Jam Play want to make sure that you are learning how to sing, but learning how to sing safely, okay? So please do the proper warm-ups to make sure that you are ready, warm, and slippery in your vocal cords. Okay, so we've spent a lot of talk, time talking about warm-ups and a lot of time talking about different types of exercises. What is the bottom line? How do you actually know when you're ready to get out and perform? How do you know when you're ready to make the jump from playing for your Uncle Hank to playing at the local nightclub, okay? What are the determining factors as far as dealing with a performance once you are in a room? How do you know when you're ready, okay? The answer is, guys, is that most performers don't, okay? Usually, the first couple times you get out there, um, you're scared to death. You know, you don't know how people are going to respond, okay? So, the ultimate goal is to kind of follow your heart. Once you know you enjoy it, and most of you who are here at Jam Play already do know you enjoy it, get out there. Go to an open mic and try your hand. Play live. Um, and we're going to go over some things that are um, some steps that will prepare you for that inevitability, okay? And also, the same steps that will occur once you're in a club, okay? So these are preparations, but also preparations that you will do once you do start playing out, okay? So um, the first one of which is practice. Practice, 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 practice. Practice makes perfect, okay? Practice makes you a better player. I'm not necessarily just talking about practice in your home, because obviously you're gonna have years and years of practice on your instruments of choice, singing, playing guitar, okay? You're gonna be practicing those things for years. But also, your performances become practices as well, okay? There's not a performer in the world who doesn't improve over time by practicing, okay? So, keep in mind, you're always improving over time as long as you are diligent and work at your craft, okay? So consider some of your experiences playing out as practices as well. This is a lifetime process, you guys, of learning an instrument and becoming a performer, all right? So keep that in mind. Sometimes you're going to play out. There's your practice also, okay? Second, small groups. Before you may feel comfortable playing in a club or playing open mics, play in front of small groups of people that you know, okay? Play in front of your family, play in front of your friends. There's a lot of people that are uncomfortable playing in front of people they know. This is a good thing to get past because this is a very accepting audience usually playing in front of people you know, especially your family, okay? So take advantage of the fact that no matter how you play, they're going to be open and accepting to it. The only downfall with playing in front of your family is they may not tell you exactly what they think. They're going to be overly friendly and overly accepting of what you do. Now, you're never really going to know that, okay? So take advantage of the fact that they're there, they're listeners, and you can use them as a sounding board, okay? The next one, be prepared. 11,000 Cub Scouts can't be wrong, okay? Know your material inside and out when you're going to perform out, okay? You know, if you are planning to try out new material, for example, while you're playing, okay, sometimes it's a good idea as well to have your other songs rock solid, be playing songs that you've been playing since the very beginning, okay? So know your material. It's great to introduce new things when you're performing, but don't play a whole set of new material, okay? Mix it in with things that you're really, really rock solid on, okay? Put your practice time in, 
okay? Do your warm-ups for your voice. Be prepared, and you will be a better performer once you are on stage, okay? Number four, talk to the crowd. Many performers are perhaps terrified or perhaps see that they are the performer and they don't need to talk to people, okay? But it is always great to talk to people that are in the audience while you are playing, okay? For a couple reasons. First of all, you are breaking down walls between yourselves and the crowd when you're doing that, okay? When you are sitting there performing in front of people, oftentimes there's an invisible barrier of sorts, okay? It's good to destroy this barrier, and you can do that by acting like a normal human being, okay? Just because you're sitting there playing music doesn't mean you're any different or any better necessarily, okay? All it means is that you are the performer and they're watching you, okay? And by talking to the crowd, you are inviting them into the world of music, okay? You are breaking down that untouchable barrier between people, and it'll help you relax as well, okay? Number five, <sighs> breathe. Okay, this is such an important one, you guys, because it's easy to get uptight and anxious when you're playing, and your normal breathing process stops. Okay, so this is such an important thing. Okay, you need to continue working on breathing, in addition to the fact that when you're singing, singing doesn't do too well without breathing. Okay, um, inevitably, you are impeding the proper flow of air that is happening when you are singing correctly, okay? So, to relax yourself, first thing, important to breathe. To sing properly, B, important to breathe. And C, you need it to stay alive, okay? So, this is a really important part of being a good performer is breathing, relaxing yourself, and allowing your singing voice to work properly. Number six, have fun, okay? Remember, playing music is, it's like the funnest thing in the world, right? Okay, make sure that you don't forget about this when you're performing, because when you have fun, the people in front of you are having fun. If you're all uptight and you're not smiling and you're not feeling comfortable with what you're doing, the crowd picks that up like that, okay? So it is of the utmost importance that you relax Chill out, laugh, smile, have a good time. Even if your music isn't perfect, which most people's isn't, especially until they're seasoned professionals, okay, most people don't notice those things. What they're there for is to have a good time. And the more they notice you having a good time, the more they're gonna enjoy themselves and loosen up as well. Okay, number seven, pick a point. Okay? This is an incredibly powerful and helpful technique when it comes to performing. I still use this one myself after playing for 20 years. Okay? What you do is pick a point beyond the crowd over people's heads, just slightly over their heads. You don't want them watching you and looking up at the ceiling. Okay? You want to pick a point that's just above the crowd okay? and focus on it while you're singing. Okay? This is a good technique to use at first when you're feeling a little bit anxious and a little bit tightly wound. Okay? So you pick a point, you sing to that point or a number of points across a line so you're still looking around but you're not focusing on faces. Because I will tell you from experience, sometimes focusing on people's faces can really, really distract you, especially if it's somebody who's particularly beautiful or attractive, and you see that face and all of a sudden, boom, just threw you out of, completely out of your space. Okay, so it's important sometimes to pick a point, focus on that, it allows you to relax, get in your mode. Okay, the last one, number eight, passion. Okay, this is such an important thing for you to be able to recognize the passion from when you first start playing, when you're sitting in your living room playing by yourself, to the point of which you are performing out. This is incredibly important. Find that area within yourself to be a passionate player. There are too many players who, ah, da, 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 they just go through the motions and there's no passion in their voices. There's no passion in their playing and you can see it in them. And it's very uninspiring.